One, two, three. Welcome. Yeah, where's Tammy? Let's get on with Let's the show. Let's do it. Let's go. Welcome to the show. You excited? You got a big smile today. I'm Is very your, excited. Your Friday smile. Very excited. Uh, Dean told me that the, yes. at the end of the show last week, I looked like my cat had died. Thank you so much for, for tuning in. These are great alternatives. Thanks, Coach, for, You're very for welcome doing to. this. Um, love you long time. See you guys next time. Mm -hmm. Cheerio! So I'm going now, Tammy. Yeah. Get a smile on. And we all know you are also allergic to cats. Uh, uh, yes, I was allergic to all but one cat. Oh. Thank you for bringing that up. Rest in peace, Gizma. Okay, see, now you actually look you. like your cat yes. died because it did. She's buried outside of our house. Okay, yes. great, fantastic, great topic. <laughs> awesome. But it is Friday, it is we Friday. have smiles. We're all excited that you are tuned in with us today. Welcome to Mixed Cocktail Hour. Yep. And I love, can I just first say, Hit it. how fantastic was the Kentucky Derby race on Saturday? Tammy, I... We raced together. Uh, you, Our yes. horses raced together just for a second. Cyberknife and Messier, yep. neck and neck, De -de -de -de. in like 12th place, I think. Yep. <laughs> they didn't do very well. No. No. But today is right. all about cocktails from all around the world. Yeah, Tammy, I think that stuff is like opening up right now. Like, it like is. where people are more, it's, it's easier to travel. Yeah. There's all kinds of stuff. So yeah. why not talk about some travel? Absolutely. You know? We did cocktails that we can make from around the world at home. Right. How about we make some cocktails from around the world that you can go to right. and get them there? Yeah, absolutely. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I think that that is important. And uh, I, I have a bit of a theme going Okay. Uh, for this. What do you think that theme is? Tiki? Sneaky Tiki. Yeah, I'm gonna try and slip some Tiki into here. These were all gonna be from fairly tropical places. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna have you start with one, and this is uh, an amazing cocktail. A very, very easy play on the daiquiri. One of your favorites. One of my, one of everybody's if not the favorites. Favorite. Yeah, one of everybody's. Who doesn't like the daiquiri? True. Uh, so we will be, uh, Tammy, we're gonna be shaking this one. So uh, get these guys going. Okay. This one is called. The island, the island, the island. The island? It's called the island. The island of Martinique cocktail. Like three times? No, 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 just the one time, sorry. Oh. So, I don't uh, know, you love long times, <laughs> so I'm like, it's called, it's the, called island, the, the island, the island, the island of Martinique. I am absolutely stealing that title okay. though. Okay. <laughs> no, All right. just called the Island of Martinique cocktail. Okay, okay, okay. Very, very simple with a lot of flavor. You know, uh, daiquiris can be sort of accused of being uh, sort of plain, just yeah. lime and sugar. Yeah. This is not that even a little bit, so. And let's say Martinique is also a cool place. Couple fun facts, oh, Martinique, yeah. obviously Caribbean island. Obviously. Uh, French. Obviously, ha <laughs> ha. And I'm suspecting it's going to be with Rahum. <laughs> rahum. Whom. Yeah. Whom. Yeah, uh, rum with an H. That yes. is correct. The difference between the rum that we know mm -hmm. and the rhum. Yeah. Right? R H U M. Yeah. Uh, is basically that rum normally is, is made molasses, right? We've got white rum, we've got golden rum, we've got dark rum. Mm -hmm. Rum with an H mm -hmm. is made from the juice of sugarcane, and that's why it's called. Rahum. 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 Yeah, Rahum. Uh, uh, this stuff uh, is not everybody's cup of tea, Yeah. but I do believe you're going to like it. So let's start with oh. this one. Uh, Tammy, we're going to start off with an ounce and a half Ooh. of the rum agricole. Since this is, of course, a daiquiri, yeah. why not grab a lime? Okay. We're going to need the juice of half of a lime or really about half of an ounce of juice. Give that roll. Doing the kush roll. I love it. Gotta do the kush roll. Get that guy going. Okay. Take that knife. Just a half? Yeah, we're looking for about a half an ounce, depending on how juicy. I have not uh, tested these limes yet, so I don't know how juicy they're gonna be. So you'll be the, I'm using a lot of lime juice here in a minute, so. Oh, okay. We're gonna see how much Put each of these limes have. Somewhere. Half, oh. whoa. whoa. Could have been whoa. deadly. I been to do that. <laughs> Not great limes. These are like the smallest limes in the world, again. Yeah. 
So let's do the uh, juice of one full lime for this. One, yeah. We're looking for about half an ounce. Yeah. All right, that'll do. Perfect. So Boom. we are on our way to a daiquiri, a kind of funky daiquiri. Yeah. But a daiquiri nonetheless is where we're going to take a hard right. Uh, instead of any no sugar. No simple syrup, no nothing. No simple syrup at all. Uh, instead, we're going to be putting in this guy right here, which is Velvet Falernum. Oh. Falernum, which does have some lime in it already which yeah. is why we can bring some of that lime back. It also has some clove, it has some almond, it has just every falernum is made a little bit differently, but a lot of sweetness, but also a lot of other flavors. Well, I like it that we're keeping it in the Caribbean. Absolutely. Isn't it barbados -y it kind is of style? It's barbados yeah. It's uh, John D. Taylor. Uh, I believe, now I've never been able to confirm this, I believe it is after John D. Taylor, the vicious pirate, uh, and not the other John D. Taylor online, which uh, is a vicious accountant. Oh. Uh, it could be oh. made, named after either one of those things. I think it's named after the pirate. Okay. Yeah. Well, our chat can look that up. Yeah, if you guys could. After the show. Yeah. Yes. Uh, how much of this? Uh, we're looking for half an ounce. Oh, half an ounce. Okay. okay. Now, of course, there's some booze in this, so we're going to be adding a touch more booze to the Velvet Flareum. Not every Flareum has booze, but this one does. Yes. Uh, we have our lime, we have that. The last thing we're gonna need is this guy right here, and that is runny honey. So instead of adding any sugar to this, we are going to go full in on more flavors by adding uh, two parts honey, one part water to this mixture. Yeah? Yeah. So how many ounces? Quarter. Oh. Just a baby quarter for this. Ugh. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed wow. it. Wow, that is getting clipped somewhere. Um, okay, uh, let's give this a shake now. Yeah. Drop that off for you. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Merci, as they say in Martinique. Uh huh. And they would say, uh, uh, Merci beaucoup. Beaucoup. Uh, uh, Darien. Merci beaucoup pour le rhum. For the pour le rhum. Pour le rhum. Uh, vous voulez toilette? Yeah. <laughs> Où est le toilette, s'il vous plaît? Oui. Eh? Uh, je vous trais eh? uh, le poulet. Oui. I would like the chicken. That's oh, yeah. that's one of the only things I would say. Le poulet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would like the chicken, please. Yeah. Yeah. We could get through Martinique. I mean, come on. Honestly, they gotta serve chicken Bathroom, somewhere on that island. Chicken. Yeah. Grim. We already we can make it through the island. I say our next show should be from live from Martinique. Live from Martinique. I'm assuming we need to shake this. Yeah. Oh yeah. Give it a shake, a row. Other side for good measure. Okay, enough. Enough of this fun. No more fun. No more fun. 86 fun. The mandatory fun is over. Yep. We can go back oh. to our sour pusses. Here we go. Yep. Right. Pour that right in. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see. Now again, it's gonna look a lot like a daiquiri. It that does. is daiquiri color. This looks exactly like your famous Daiquiri. Yes, but can Fish's you is famous daiquiri. can you already smell though? I can all of those other flavors yes. coming out of it. Like this is a pungent yeah. cocktail. There is nothing that is uh, normal about this uh, in the way of smell. I'm just gonna give you the one honey. of these. Yeah, you got some honey. You have With the that funkiness uh, of the of the <laughs> that funk will come poured yeah. for you. Put it on. The I would just drop it on top. Oh, drop it on top. Yeah, just drop it on top. You're going to drink this quick enough that that lime won't start to affect the rest it's of the flavor. Slammer? I would slam it. I would see how much well, you, you get would. Into. I don't know. Let's see. There's some funk in that, Tam. Cheers. The island, the island, the island of Martinique cocktail. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, yeah, it does smell funky. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got to tell you. So many flavors. That's. Intr that's a real spin on a daiquiri. Yeah. You're really right. Yeah, absolutely. It weirdly tastes like, you know how we always talk about that some things smell or, or taste a little bit like, like burnt tires? Yes. This has a delicious burnt tire <laughs> daiquiri kind of kind of taste in, I, a, in the best way possible. I always recommend to all of the classes that I teach that you can describe your alcohol as mm. anything mm. as long as you finish it with in a good way. In a, yeah. Yes. It, this it, tastes like my grandmother's yeah. old socks. Yep. In a good way. Yeah, it tastes like burnt tires, yeah. grass, grass, honey, honey, <laughs> 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 
In a good way. In a good way. Yeah. Yeah. In a, in a, in a glass. Yeah. I love it. This is really good. Yeah. I'm not. I'm. I'm never gonna get that back from you. Am yeah. I? <laughs> I love Dang, it. I really. The sometimes... island. The island. The <laughs> island of Martinique cocktail is very good. I will admit. Sometimes I make cocktails. Yeah. Just so that I can have them after the show. Save that one for sure. me a little bit. I'll, yeah. Thank I'll, you. I'll... Yeah. Because I was very. <laughs> I'll put it over here. I was very here. excited about that one. Yeah. No, that's a good one. Let's. Let's move on to, to drink number two. Drink. Where are we going now around the world? Drink number two, uh, Tammy, has its own history, okay. obviously, but it also has a history with me. Oh, ooh. Yes, uh, this uh, cocktail was created at the Long Bar and the Raffles Hotel uh, in Singapore. This is, of course, the very famous Singapore Sling. Singapore we're gonna be doing it. Sling. Yeah, we're gonna be doing it my way. So everybody, the Singapore Sling has been around long enough that everybody has their way to do it. But this uh, cocktail actually holds a fun place in my heart for uh, about 14 of the 15 years that I was behind the bar. Yeah. It wasn't until the very end. Uh, this was the only drink that I'd ever made for people that would walk up to the bar. Mm -hmm. They would say, just make me something, which is not, it's sometimes you, you love when people do that, but yeah. like when you're in the middle of something busy, you yeah. hate it. Yeah. I would always make this one because I didn't want to have to make it twice. I never ever got one of these returned. So it's a, it's a favorite if you, you know it's a, they won't send it back. They won't send drink. it back. And I, I will tell you, I got one sent back at the beginning of March, 2020. <gasps> what happened immediately after that? COVID. The world shut down. Yeah. So I'm just, I have to say, I do believe. So that person's to blame. That person yeah. is the bat yeah. that yes. we're always talking about. Yes. So uh, I'm gonna. We're, You're gonna make this one now? I'm gonna make it right now. We, I don't think I've made a full Singapore sling since that time. Wow. So let's go ahead and make a, uh, a Kush Singapore sling. We are of course gonna start off with some delicious gin. Yes. Uh, I have this guy right here. This is Prairie Organic. Uh, an ounce and a half. Now. Always good. Yeah, an ounce and a half is good. good. It is not an apostle pour. Uh, the apostle uh, of Tiki has his own pour named after him, which is a two ounce pour. Uh, this is an ounce and a half, but it's because okay. we're gonna be adding so many other booze after this. So it's just like your tiki pour. I mean, you know, it's very much like a tiki pour. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and give this a slice. We need half of an ounce of lime juice. Now, what do we learn from this lime last time? That they're lame. That they're lame. Little lame lime. So we're going to be adding. That Dean didn't get bigger limes. Yeah. Stole these ones. He had to get the ones off the back. Probably stole the them from the neighbor's tree. That's, That's right. probably the, the just. Dean. They're not even full grown yet. Uh, so we have. <laughs> I just love. <laughs> ding! I can hear the ding. I can already okay. hear. It. All right, so we have uh, we have half an ounce of that. Yeah. Now let's get into the rest of the booze. We're yeah. gonna start off over here with uh, this guy. This is Benedictine. You know it as the liquor from the monks. Oh well, yeah. Another one. Yeah. I mean, another one. Another one. This is the second place. This is second monk place. drink. Yeah. Uh, this is Benedictine. Tough to describe what Benedictine tastes like, other than to just taste it. We Herbs need and. Stuff. Herbs and derbs, man. You got the herbs and the derbs. Yeah. Uh, you need half of an ounce of Benedictine. Yeah. We are also going to be putting in half of an ounce of some orange. Love it. Uh, liqueur. You can use triple sec if you'd like. We're going to yeah. use Cointreau, which is technically a triple sec. Of course. We're going to open it up first. And we need half of an ounce of that. Did you know that Singapore had the world's first night zoo? As a, I have, as a night zoo enthusiast you, myself, listen, I'm surprised I didn't. Listen, if we ever go to a pub uh -huh. on a trivia night, you're gonna want me on your team. What is a night zoo? <laughs> is that it just you can go to the zoo at night. Oh. That's a night zoo. I had no idea people kept records of that. I'm that just is, saying, you want me on your pub quiz team? That is true. For just if, random trivia. If, for random knowledge that yep. no one needs, I'm your guy. You know what's so great about this is I already have my next two cocktail creations named. Yeah. Obviously, one of them is called uh, Night Zoo, or maybe World's First Night Zoo, and yes. the other one is going to be the, the island, island, the island, the island, island of Martinique. Yeah, that's yes. exactly it. So, uh, next thing we need to get some cherry in here. Uh, this is cherry hearing. Yeah. Half of an ounce of cherry hearing, please. So let me know what you know the classic Singapore sling. Mm -hmm. What's the what's the sort of spin? on this now because it's your sort it's of thing. It's very, to be honest, Tammy, it's very different, uh, very difficult to tell you what the exact thing on it is. Uh, yeah. Because nobody, there isn't a 
classic recipe. Just okay. they like they created it at the long bar and then from there they were tweaking it and okay. so then people were learning about it. People were getting from different notebooks. It was disseminating. So really as long as it has uh, some pineapple, uh, yeah, some gin, as long as it has some cherry or, yeah. or uh, um, pomegranate, uh, some lime in there, then you really, you have yourself a, the Singapore sling. Okay. It's tough to, tough to really nail it down. Yeah. Um, the way that I like it though is one and a half Half, 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 half. That's, I that's just, easy. That, that's the way I like to do it. Yeah. Uh, except for this last ingredient, or second to last ingredient, which is pineapple juice. Hell yeah. I like pineapple juice. Some people don't love pineapple juice. Good. So we're going to be putting in a full two ounces. You can go anywhere from an ounce to two and a half ounces on the pineapple juice. Oh, I love it. I think that the, uh, I think this is a perfect amount. Yeah. And last ingredient, which uh, sort of, is it's dangerous in this. Now, uh, this is Angostura bitters. Yeah. If you put too much Angostura in here, you run the risk of having this taste like a stick of big red gum. That cinnamon, oh, yeah. big red gum. That, well, that's not a bad thing. I, I actually yes. really like that. Not a bad thing, but it, it ends up sort of not being the Singapore sling anymore. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and just put in a big two dashes. So one, two, there we go. Okay. Drop that off. And that's it. We are going to be giving this a shake. Can't this wait. Is, uh, I did a food sens uh, sensitivity test, and you know, pineapple showed up on that. Uh huh. Is that, I'm sensitive is that bad? to that. You're sensitive to it. Yeah. I think you have to be. Do you think that stopped me? No. No. Um, Not at all. Tammy, I, I don't, uh, I can't give you a list of anything that would stop. You. Never. Know, yeah, the, the unstoppable Tammy Brown. Nope. Right exactly. There. Okay, let's give this. A, uh, a big shake, ready? One, two, yeah. three, Tammy. Okay, you wanna shake this one hard because that yeah. pineapple, um, that pineapple froths like it's egg white. Mm -hmm. So let me pour this guy in here. I mean, look at that color. Ooh, that's good. That looks great. Yeah, there's no way to get around that. That is a mm -hmm. beautiful cocktail. Uh, as, it's, as it settles, all of the pineapple foam will come up to the top. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give this one more lime circle. I didn't get real creative with my garnishes today. We're just yeah, I didn't in, actually bring in any. I was leaving it up to you. We're gonna be putting in just a couple lime what wheels. Can, what can Kush do with the garnishes <laughs> this week? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Zero. The, the classics. The classic. The I classics. mean, that's such a good one. I mean, uh, let's throw a. Woohoo! Ooh, ah. Didn't realize that was there. Can't go wrong with cutting the spores. Yeah. And cutting those spores right in half. Putting it on the glass. Yeah. Right. There you have it, Tammy. I have never, ever in my career until. So uh, this is the one that got sent back. That's the exact one that got sent back at the beginning of March 2020. Two weeks later, all the bars were closed. But did they say why? Uh, yes, and in fact, I mentioned it. She said it tasted like a stick of big, uh, big red gum. Oh, that's, wh that's, that's why. why. That, that, oh, those, okay. those words, you think the bartenders don't have feelings, yes. those words cut deep. Yes. And I uh, literally, the first, the first two weeks of quarantine, I was in my robe, it was because of those words. Oh. The next few weeks is just because really comfortable. Well, next few, next 18 months. Well, I got out of the robe eventually. Well, yeah, okay. Started my show, yeah. yeah. All right, um, whew, let's see if I'll send this back. Oh gosh, oh gosh, send us all back to home. Cheers! Uh-oh. Okay, smells pretty good. It tastes like big red gum. That, this lady, this bat lady. This is fantastic. Yeah, that bat lady oh, really, again. It was, it was the COVID bat. This, this cocktail oh. is the cocktail that I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're Greg the camera guy. I don't care if you're Dean the thief. I don't care if yeah. you are Tammy the singing Harrison. Just, I don't yes, care who you are. Yes. Everybody likes yes. this drink. That Absolutely. lady was wrong. Yep. And lady, if you yes. are watching right yes. now, I got you. Yes. I got you. Absolutely. Ugh. No, this is great. It yeah. has it has that tikiness yeah. to it, which I love. Pre-tiki. You know what's interesting? It has a little bit of like a 
And I think that might be the Benedictine mm -hmm. that it has that like a little bit of earthiness yeah. to it. It's like an earthy yeah. tiki drink. If yeah. That kind of makes sense. Yeah. But incredibly refreshing. Right. And just all round delicious. Absolutely. I mean, I, it's just it's it's. Hey, served, lady! It, don't you ever send a drink it back to Kush? Served me so well. It served me so well until. Absolutely. Until that, and well, then... Well, art is always in the eye of the beholder. We've I always guess. said that, and yeah. she just doesn't understand art. She didn't. No. She didn't. Absolutely not. That was a garbage person. That All was right. the, the breaking Perfect. point yeah. of COVID. Yeah. Thank you so much for that, lady. We've done it, yeah. Um, yes, no more cocktails for you. Yeah. All right? Okay. Drink number three! Drink number three is, uh, as far as travel goes, this is one of the places uh, that makes travel easiest. This is uh -huh. a cocktail from Charles H. Baker, okay. who wrote a uh, cocktail book called The Gentleman's Companion, uh, where he found this cocktail in all of his travels through the Panama Canal Ooh. at a little bar called the Colon. Mm. Uh, I found it. He loved it. This is his original version. There are lots of other versions out there, but we're gonna be doing Charles H. Baker's version. It is a drink called the Bird of Paradise Fizz. Love it. The Bird of Paradise Fizz. You so, wanna hear a fun fact about Panama? I do I got want more fun that. facts about Panama. I want that. I got so many fun facts. <laughs> One fun fact is, uh -huh. Panama is the only country in the world uh -huh. that you can see the sun rise from the Pacific Ocean uh -huh. and set in the Atlantic. From the same country? Yes. You can't do that in Australia? Because if I'm sitting in Perth, I can see the oh, coast. Oh, 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 oh of, I of... see. Oh, you're saying you can stand in one place. Correct. Oh, I didn't know. I just figured, yes. okay. You can literally stand in one place right. and you can see from the coastline. Mm. It rise from the Pacific wow. and set into the Atlantic. Let's get into the bird of paradise yes. fizz. Uh, this one. Uh, this is a relic from an old time. It is. It's a relic from an old time, so yeah. we're going to start off here uh, with three ounces of gin. Oof. That is how we start. I haven't heard you say that in a while. No, I don't often say three ounces of almost anything. Yep. Uh, so three ounces of gin to start us off with. All right. Uh, we need to have one and a half ounces of lime juice. We could be here for a this while. Is for one person? For one cocktail. Okay. Okay. This is a single person's okay. cocktail. All right. uh, this, this baker guy knew what he was doing. Yeah. But after you drink it, you, will, oh. you might not be a single person anymore. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. One and a half ounces of uh, lime juice. I do have a joke. Oh, I'd love to hear I it. I do have a joke. Yeah. If you want to hear one, you want to hear a joke. Are you asking me or Greg the camera guy? I'm asking everybody. <laughs> okay. I'm, yeah, ask, I'm asking do. Greg, Dean the thief. I'm asking you. <laughs> I'm yep. asking everybody. <laughs> do you want to hear a joke? Here's a joke. A screwdriver mm -hmm. walks into a bar, uh -huh. and the bartender is like, "Oh, hey, hi! We actually have a drink named after you." And the screwdriver says, "Really? You have a drink named Philip?" <laughs> anyway, continue. <laughs> okay. So uh, <laughs> next thing we need in here is some. Next thing we need in here is some color. <laughs> so let's find ourselves uh, something nice uh, and colorful. We want to put in, uh, we're looking for about uh, three teaspoons of uh, raspberry syrup. That's going to end up being, uh, I like raspberry syrup, so we're going to be putting I in just a it. touch more than half of an ounce right If there. it's as good as your strawberry syrup. It is. Is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's very, very good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Raspberry is my favorite. Is that right? You can just drink that straight. Be pretty good. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's like drinking uh, raspberry jam, right? It's so yeah, good. There's no two ways about it. Yeah, I mean, if you can. I don't have COVID or the cooties, so right. I mean, either this is mine right there, now. Or there's a lot of booze in that, so oh, it uh, okay. it's killed whatever's it's in there. It's distilled. It's fortified. Okay, good. Oh, it's so good. Uh, next, thing we want to put in here is going to be some orange flower water. Love it. Just to give it that uh, old timey feel. One. To... Oh, they're the dashes you hate. I can see you getting angry. You're getting angry already. Yep. It doesn't work. These don't work. These don't work. <laughs> Two, three. Hate those things. Okay, 
Just a little bit of orange flower water, Ooh, Tammy. <laughs> I just had that. The, why did they get Ooh, invented? Saw. Why did they get invented? Um, okay, uh, next thing I need to be putting in here is going to be some heavy cream. Ooh. One full ounce. Okay, one well, this is a bit ounce. weird right now. It oh, sounds. This is an odd cocktail. And you imagine you're in Panama. Yeah. It's really hot. What's the last thing you want? Milk. Milk. Well, too bad you're getting it. And then we want to put in an egg white. Great. Make it even weirder. Make it even a little, just a touch thicker. It's always bikini season down in Panama. Well, who knows? That guy might have been in a really air-conditioned place. Oh, yeah, for sure. Charles H. Baker? Yeah. Anybody that could afford to travel to Panama multiple times a year back then yeah. definitely had somebody yeah. waving a, he had, a fan he had a, he had a personal fan guy. Absolutely. Personal yeah. fan guy. Yeah, let's All give right, this a, a just yeah. a, a dry shake first. Boring shake, as I call it. Boring shake. Yep. And then we want to give it a... We have one big cube right here. We're going to give it a wet shake okay. with one agitator cube. Here we go. Big shake. Ready, Tammy? One, two, three. Hand me a Collins glass there. Sure. Thank you. Now this is the Bird of Paradise Fizz. Mm -hmm. So with the Bird of Paradise Fizz, we have to, oh, look at that color first of all. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Wow, that looks like a smoothie. Yeah, it's very much like a smoothie. So anything fizz is basically with egg white. Soda water, oh, it's soda which we water. have not put in here yet. Oh, here you go. Oh, thank you. Now we're gonna just go ahead and open this up. We're gonna let this settle for a second. Uh, as it settles, uh, some of the uh, the cream and the egg will sort of come to a head up here. But do most of the fizzes uh -huh. have egg white and soda water? A lot of fizzes have egg white so and I'm soda water. So half right. Yes. Uh, not every fizz, but a lot of fizzes do have. Like the Ramos Gin fizz, obviously. I'll take a half right. And we're just gonna pour this. Did we get a touch over the top? Look at that. That looks yeah. so pretty. Doesn't that look good? Mm -hmm. And then we are just gonna take, why not take one more lime. Just you still stay out of on. breath from the shaking? I am out of breath, yeah. <laughs> I am, that's a lot of shaking, Tammy. I am not in, I'm not in fighting shape anymore. There we go, I'm just gonna drop that right there. And we have the Bird of Paradise Fizz I mean, from Panama, from the bar. Look at that. From the bar in Colon. <sighs> Come on, I'm gonna grab this straw. See what this guy is all about. Cheers, everyone. Cheers to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. <clears throat> the booze just hit the back of my. Throat. Oh, yeah. The booze is, yeah. Three ounces of booze is going to knock <gasps> you back. Going in for a second. Yeah, oh, absolutely. It tastes like a like a boozy smoothie. Yeah. This is actually really good. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how good it would be in Panama. Panama seems very warm to me. Yeah. But at the place it was created, the place it was created was actually called the Strangers Club uh, okay. in Cologne. Um, yeah. And it clearly, uh, you weren't strangers for very long after you uh, I after can you imagine. These ones. Yeah. yeah. Start to get real you're, friendly you're very with very close. The, uh, yeah, very close. Very close after yeah. one of these guys. Yeah, quick That's three ounces sure. of gin to your face. No, I think that's great. I mean, yep. it's a, it's a, it's a strong one, which is, if you look at it, it's like, oh, I'm a pretty drink. Right. I'm your f little friend. And then you drink it and it's like, gin. Knock you back. Let's just, party. Yeah, just We're in Panama. Your down. Just get one of those Ram, yeah. battering Rams. Yeah, it's like, put your Panama hat on. <laughs> Let's watch the sun rise and set and have some fun. This drink is what we would say has crazy eyes. Oh, no, it's good though. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a tricky, it's a tricky, sneaky thing going very tricky, on there. Very sneaky. Yeah. Um, let me bring these guys back out. The yes. island of Martinique. Uh, excuse me. It's called the island, the island, the island. I cannot call this. Of Martinique. This drink is called the island of Martinique. I promise you I will create a cocktail called the island, the island, the island of Martinique. To me, that's what that's called. Okay. Um, then we have our Singapore sling. Correct. Your version. My version of the Singapore sling. 
that randomly got sent back. Mm -hmm. Once. Once. Um, and then, of course, we have the what the bird of bird of paradise fizz. The bird of paradise fizz. Mm -hmm. Um, they're all fantastic. Mm -hmm. Love it that they're all contained limes. Yeah. As 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 garnishes. Yeah. Very creative. Thank you very much. I, I, I skipped a week on garnishes, and I, I, and I uh, love I love the thought behind. It all. It's not just me that creates this. I have a whole brain trust that gets together. We I love think it. about what kind of garnishes we're gonna put on our drinks. Yes. What? Lime wheels. Yeah. Cut the spores, put the lime in there. Well, yep. this one doesn't, but um, you know. Right. Uh, love it. Uh, for me, mm -hmm. I have to say, mm -hmm. the winner uh -huh. of the week uh -oh. is the island, the island, the island. Wow. Of Came Martin. out of nowhere. That's yeah. a that's a, a nice, easy, simple cocktail it to is. make. Yeah. Well, well, you know why? Because my favorite daiquiris mm -hmm. are the famous. If you've ever had a Kush daiquiri, there's 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 no going back. Yeah. No going back. And it reminds me of yours mm -hmm. with a twist. I love it. And I'd never tasted this or anything like it before. Yeah. It's got that funky, you know, the tire thing going on. I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to sip any. You, I know you want it. So Dude, I'm I not. I'm, so okay. bad. I'm, I'm <laughs> not going like, to sip on I it anymore because I know that's yours. Uh, for me, that that is the winner. That's it's been a while oh, since wow. I actually haven't picked yours. That's right. But it's a very close second. Uh, everybody, it's get ready for pandemic number two. Pandemic number two. It's coming. Well, I didn't send it back. This is okay. Here we go. See, <laughs> not sending it back. <laughs> Can't mm -hmm. have that. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in and traveling a little bit around the world with us. I hope you loved that. Tune in next time. In the meantime, please check out our shorts on our YouTube page. Also hop on over to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash mixcocktailhour. Until next time, I'm Timmy Harrison. This is Scott Cushman. Good night. Mm -hmm.